Imagine your outcome. It's the last of the four pillars. Why? Because we want to change our unconscious language as per Carl Jung. We don't want to just acknowledge it by learning our language. We want to imagine a different outcome for our lives and that changes the unconscious language because it also increased time we spent in our focused mode. When we're sitting or driving or walking or training and we are consciously bringing to an imaginary peak what we want to look like, who we want to be, what kind of life we want to have, what kind of money we want to have, it, it drives us into focused mode activity. And lastly, it completely redefines mind wandering. Yes, those 150 tabs are open, but because we reviewed our direction, learned our language, counted our wins, we've reduced the number of tabs open. And now because we imagine our outcome, we're changing what those tabs say. So like Carrie just said, when she's in the bathtub, you know what's default for her? Thinking about how great life is. She doesn't have to take herself any, there anymore, it just happens. She has spent so much time in the focused mode of her brain that has become the strength part of her neural network. So she's there more often. Four pillars. Practice them every day. They could not be more simple. If you want proof, ask our clubhouse members. They're all right here talking about it. Yeah, I, I actually just want to acknowledge the yeah. right now by Lisa Arsenault because this is just so powerful. I used to self-harm to watch myself heal mm. because I never believed I could. I didn't know any other way. Now I count my wins and know, believe I am healing, growing progress without hurting. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I have goosebumps 